I'm going to record. So this webinar is being recorded so that I can publish it on our YouTube site so that those who weren't able to join us tonight can watch it later. So um, thank you all so much for joining tonight. Those of you who are tuned in, um, welcome to the virtual ACC Open House. My name is Mackenzie Livingston and I am the Recruitment and Communication Director at ACC. So essentially what I do is I help students and families decide if ACC is the right fit for them or not. So um, I do that through a variety of different ways through open houses like this, um, the placement exam, registration, other parent events that we normally would have if we were allowed to have social gatherings. Um, and then, you know, kind of moving aside from recruitment, the communication piece, I do all of our social media and any communication that comes from ACC to parents or students or alumni. So that kind of all falls underneath me. So tonight I do have two students with me. Um, they are both our student ambassadors and they are Olivia and Jack. And so they are actually gonna introduce themselves. And then at the very end of tonight, you will have the opportunity to ask them questions. So Olivia, do you wanna go first? Yeah. Okay. Hi, I'm Olivia. Uh, I'm a senior at ACC. I attended Caneland Harder Middle School. Um, and I also attended Caneland John Shields prior to that. Um, I am involved in pretty much everything drama, drama tech, drama club. Um, you'll see me on stage, behind stage. I'm pretty much universal. Uh, I'm also a cheerleader. Um, I'm captain of the cheer team and have been for two years. Um, I'm the editor in chief of the school newspaper. Um, I'm also a student ambassador, NHS, just pretty much those kind of things. You okay, Jack? Your turn. Um, I'm Jack Carroll. I went to Emmanuel Lutheran in Batavia. Um, I am currently a junior at ACC. Um, I am involved in basketball and baseball. Uh, I just recently got inducted into the NHS and I'm also the student ambassador. Awesome. Thank you both so much. Um, I do have a Prezi presentation that's going to walk us through and follow along. Um, so at any point, if either of you want to jump in and put in your two cents, please do, because most of our viewers would probably like to hear from you guys more so than me. I'm just going to give the general information. So at any point, please feel free. I am going to share my screen right now so I can um, bring you to the presentation. So for those of you who have never been to ACC before, this is what the outside looks like. Um, we are co-educational, so we have both boys and girls. We have about 500 students in the, in the entire school, but our class size is about 19 students per classroom. We really try to keep it at that, especially now we've done our best to try to keep them as small as possible so we can appropriately social distance everybody. Um, but our mascot is the Chargers and our colors are blue and gold. We obviously are a Catholic school, however, you do not have to be Catholic to go to ACC. We do accept anybody, no matter where they're at in their faith or in their academics. Um, so that's really, really great. And we are also college preparatory, which I will explain how we're a college prep school in just a minute. But first, I do want to let you know that if you're a student watching tonight, um, I want you to realize that high school is your opportunity to figure out what it is that you want to do and you know where your path wants to lead you. And if you're a parent or a guardian watching me tonight, you know, obviously you already know this, that it's your role to help your student figure that out. So ACC helps everybody do that in a variety of different ways, both inside and outside the classroom. So we do have 19 different sports to choose from. We have over 23 different clubs and organizations to choose from as well. And if we were in person and you were attending the in-person open house, you would be greeted with a view book. Now, I did actually provide you with a PDF version when you registered for this open house, so hopefully you've seen it. If not, it is on our website under the admission tab, so you can always go back and look at that, but it does give you a comprehensive list of all those sports. I know I kind of like went quickly over it, but we have all your typical sports and um, extracurricular clubs and activities. And then these listings here are what we call electives. Now these are electives and this is our way of helping you decide what it is you like to do inside the classroom because these are courses that you as a student get to pick. It is not administration telling you that you have to take this class or that class. Um, obviously like your math, your science, and your English we would, but these are fun classes that you get to decide um, when and how you take them. Okay. So this piece right here, this presentation right here called block scheduling is essentially what really, really, really sets ACC apart from any other school in the Fox Valley area. 
So we have something called block scheduling and the way it works is each student takes four classes a day, Monday through Friday, the exact same four for an hour and a half each. Okay, so your day starts at eight and it goes until 2.50. You have 25 minutes for lunch and five minute passing periods, which is plenty of time, right guys? Like you will always get to your class on time? Yes. Yes. Because visually, and I know we can't be here, obviously, in the building right now, but visually, if you pictured ACC, the first floor is a circle, the second floor is a U with a staircase right in the middle, and then there's, you know, wings on either side with lockers, and that's where your classrooms are. So it is very easy to get around. I know that it is a very common worry and concern, especially as a freshman or a new student, that you know, what if I can't find my class? What if I can't open up my locker? What if I get lost, right? Those are like your three main things. Yeah. So that primarily will not happen to you. If it does, everyone is so kind and genuine. You can always just ask someone for help. So you don't need to worry about that. Do you guys have anything to add about that? Um, no. No, okay. Well, I'm gonna tell you guys why we do the block scheduling and why it's so amazing and so unique. So. The reason we do it is because it is part of the piece that we incorporate into our um, college preparatory curriculum because when you go to college, you're only taking four or five classes anyway. So it really does prepare the students to get used to that kind of course load. Um, but we do it because it serves two different types of learners, okay? So the first learner that it serves is for those students who maybe need a little bit of extra time to really um, absorb the material and ask the questions and make sure that they're not going home and being completely confused when they go to do their homework. Okay, so typically what happens is in a traditional class, the teacher will teach for about 45 to 50 minutes and then that second half of class is either left for a project or just, you know, a group, group project or left for homework or whatever it might be, you know, the teacher is rarely ever teaching for the full 90 minutes. Um, would you guys agree? Yeah. Yes. So it's really great in that aspect. The second student is serves is for those who might want to double up and take more advanced classes too later on in their high school years. So the best way I can describe this as an example of how you could double up in a subject in the block scheduling is let's say freshman year first semester you decide that you want to take algebra one which is a very standard level freshman math class. Then second semester, you want to double up in math, so you're actually gonna take geometry because that's the next level after algebra. So you would be done with a sophomore level math class by the end of your freshman year, which is amazing. And the reason students choose to do that is so that they can double up, get those classes out of the way and either take AP classes junior or senior year, or which you would get college credit for, or take more electives, which are the classes we kind of talked about previously earlier on. So that's the huge advantage to block scheduling. Did either of you, Olivia or Jack, double up in anything? Yes. Um, Olivia, you wanna go first? Yes, I doubled up in maths and sciences. So my freshman year, I went in taking geometry and then I did algebra two my second semester. And then sophomore year, I took pre-calc and trig, and then I was done with math. I am completely done with math credits, and I'd have to take math junior or senior year if I didn't want to. And then I finished, I took biology my freshman year, and then sophomore year, I doubled up and took both chem and physics, and I'm done with my science credits now, so I don't have to take sciences either. Yes, and you don't, ha you don't have to choose that route. So Jack, if you didn't do that, that that's the beauty of block scheduling. You can choose if you want to, or you can choose if you don't. So um, do you guys have anything to add about block scheduling that I missed, or you just want to talk about it a little bit more? Um, I don't think, have like you anything said, on school. It's not required. Like, I know a lot of my friends didn't, and that's what just worked best for them. Um, so it's, it's really just what works best for you and your mm -hmm. family and how you think you learn. Yes. Do you feel like in the beginning when you heard, oh my gosh, I have to sit in class for 90 minutes, did that freak you out? Were you nervous about it? Yeah, I was. I came from Caneland, which had 45 minute class periods. Mm -hmm. And um, I honestly thought my attention span was not gonna be 90 minutes. Um, actually, the teachers do a really, really good job about changing things up. So it's not always the same thing every day. 
like you said, they don't lecture for 90 minutes. Like I'm pretty sure in almost every class, I've always had time to complete homework. Um, I've come home with, there's been nights where I've had no homework because just how the classroom played out that day. Um, so it's just, I honestly think it's better than 45 minutes. I also think we get to go into a lot more depth about things yeah. and it gives us more time to actually review things and um, ask questions before exams. You also have an hour and a half to take tests. So you're not rushed in any matter to take those exams, which is very helpful, especially coming from 45 minutes. Yeah, I have to agree with Olivia. It was um, a little weird having 45 minutes and then getting told you're going to sit through 90 minutes. I thought I was going to get really bored, but they do keep your attention somehow. <laughs> and you adjust pretty quickly. Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess, you know, for those that are watching right now, you more than likely are used to, because this is the, you know, public school or non-Catholic school segment for our open house. So you guys are more than likely used to eight or nine subjects. So just imagine cutting that in half and only focusing on those, like how much easier your workload is going to be. So imagine- It cuts your homework, it cuts your homework in, in half. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Exactly. So that is block scheduling. Now, um, something to keep in mind is that I think it's, it's really important no matter what high school you choose. I always have a little bit of advice and I know Olivia and Jack will have advice for you guys later, but you know, you want to pick a school that you know is going to be able to help you succeed and help you down the path that you want to go, whether that's going into college or, you know, going into a branch of our military or going into the workforce, whatever it might be. ACC is going to help you get there. And so I do want to point out, because this is a, a very large statistic that I think is important to share, and that is that 100% of our students that choose to apply to a four-year college or university do get accepted. And that is, that's huge. And there's a reason for that. And the reason why is because you are, each student is, um, they're made to, they have to meet with their counselors in order to register for the following year's courses. So those conversations of, what is it that you want to do? Who do you want to be? What's your dream job are happening early on so they can help students decide what colleges they should be looking at based on their academic capabilities so that they're not, you know, going over and above, but they're also not falling behind either. So, of course, we want you to go up. What I mean by over and above is applying to schools that maybe don't match what your academic level is and being disappointed, if that makes sense. So that's why we have such a high um, acceptance rate at being 100%. To go along with that and unfortunately I don't have the class of 2020's data because we weren't able to implement the necessary like ways that we gather the data because we weren't physically in session but for the class of 2019 um, they actually received over nine million dollars total in scholarship money to go to the college or university that they chose now that I know is underreported because not every single student filled out those um, data pieces. So I know it's more than that, but for sure it was at least $9 million. Um, and then thirdly, if you do choose a different high school that is not ACC and you get there and it's just not what you thought it was, we do accept transfer students. So I did want to throw that out there because about five to 10% of our incoming class do consist of transfer students, of our student body, I should say. So now this piece is a little bit more for the parents that are watching tonight because I know that this is a very large determining factor of sending your students to a Catholic school. Um, we realize that it is a sacrifice and so we, number one, thank you for making that sacrifice for your students, but I do want to incorporate and break down what it would look like for you financially. So this year for the fees for this 2020-2021 school year, these are the rates. So you'll really want to pay attention to the top line here. Um, now, you'll see a little asterisk. The um, fees for next year are being decided within the next two weeks here in November. So once those are released, we then will update this. But I can tell you, and I've been at ACC for five years now, the trend every single year that I have been here has been that tuition does not increase more than $200. So realistically, if you belong to one of these parishes that is listed here in bold, then you would qualify for our tuition parish rate because those parishes partner with us and offset the $1,000 difference, which is really nice per student. 
So you can kind of bank on, and please don't quote me, this is just what's been a trend in the past. You can bank on for one student at ACC if you belong to a supporting parish that it's going to be $6,325 if it goes with the trend. Um, if you do not belong to one of these parishes, that is perfectly fine, it's okay. Um, you just would pay a different rate than those that do. So that's what you're looking at there. And then there's obviously different fees that are incorporated you know later given if you play a sport or if you already have a student you know and you're a second sibling or something like that then you would only pay one building user fee and whatnot so those get applied um, on top of that tuition amount and we use something called smart tuition which you'll learn about way later in the registration process to house all of your tuition and fees and it's basically our online management system that you will have your own login for so you constantly know what is left for your students tuition okay now the biggest thing that i always encourage families to do is no matter what your financial situation might be i highly encourage them to fill out our, our financial aid application because it is specific to acc it is not government or state run um, ACC <laughs> our own private affiliated tuition assistance programs. So we do ask that families fill it out every single year because we also realize that everyone's situation is constantly changing. So um, there really is, you know, no chart. There, there's not necessarily something where we say, oh, if you make this amount, you won't qualify. Okay, it's not like that because it is based, our aid is based on the pool of applicants every single year. So what I can tell you is we will not award more than half of what tuition costs. So that's like best case scenario. Um, and I, there, like I said, there really is no special formula that we use to decide who does and doesn't get that. It's very, um, that application that you fill out is very detailed. It is very personal. So we need to get a very good picture of your financial situation in order to evenly and, and, you know, give as many families as we can the amount of aid that we can. So that's how that works. You can apply um, now all the way through May 1st. So that is the deadline to apply for that. It will take about a half hour, I would say. So, you know, just maybe set aside a good chunk of time to sit down and, and fill that out. So that's the recommendation. Um, then something we have to offer is our student work program. And this is where your student, if you qualify for financial aid, they get first kind of dibs, I guess you could say, to be in our work study program where your student could come in before or after school or during Christmas and summer break and spring break and actually work at ACC and earn minimum wage that then gets applied toward your family's tuition bill, which is great because then your student has a hand in their education and really has a good grasp on what a sacrifice it is for parents to send their students to a Catholic school. And it, it kind of, you know, them have have some teeth in the game, I guess, if you want to call it, if you want to say it like that. So it's a great option for families um, in addition to the financial aid. Now, if you don't qualify for financial aid, you can still request that your student become a part of their work program. And we can, you know, the contact information is right there. So you can just call and, and ask for um, the maintenance department because they are the ones that are in charge of that student work program in itself. And then scholarships and, to, and um, well, basically just scholarships in general, those are all based on the results of our placement test, which I'm going to talk about in just a second. I'll give you the date and all the details for that. But I did wanna point out um, that you can find all of this information just by going to our website and hovering over the admission tab. And I just clicked tuition and financial aid, which will bring you to here. So after this is over, at any point, if you wanted to check back and look at the different, um, all the different information you can, but I do want to pull up our tuition and um, oh, I did not. I'm sorry. I want to pull up the scholarship brochure so I can show you guys what scholarships your students can compete for on the day of the placement test. So we have all of these down here on the left hand side. I'm not going to go through each and every one of them, but essentially there are a total of five, um, possibly six, and then these grants would apply if your student attended an Aurora Deanery grade school, but essentially you want to um, focus on, on those. So you can go ahead, if you were interested, you can go ahead and um, review those at a later date. But I'm gonna come back to that real quick. But I do wanna talk about the placement test since I just mentioned it. So the placement exam 
is scheduled this year for Saturday, December 5th from eight until noon. It is an in-person exam. Do not worry, we are only allowing 12 students per classroom. So each student will be assigned a classroom and a desk so that we know everybody is placed. Um, breaks will be happening, but in their individual classrooms, typically it's kind of like every, it's like a free for all in the middle and you get snacks and everything. We still will provide snacks, but we are not allowing everyone to break at the same time. So we are being very, very cautious. Um, due to COVID, so you can feel safe and comfortable sending your student to our placement test. Um, there is a $30 fee that you can pay right online. You actually will get a thank you follow-up email from me after the webinar is over, and you it will give you the button right there to sign up. And we do ask that everybody pre-sign up so we can assign each student their classroom and desk, like I just mentioned. And parent tours will be available during your child's placement test. So there is a sign up for that as well. Um, we have to make sure that everyone is scheduled so that we don't have an overabundance of parents in the building at once. So if you're interested in a physical tour, those are being available during the eight to noon placement test. And then if you haven't already done so, we are offering shadow visits this year, but only on Tuesdays and Fridays. And there is only one student allowed to shadow per day unless students attend the same school. And that is just due to COVID. That is not a typical rule that we have. Um, we're just trying to not cross invi school environments if we can avoid it. So I will tell you, I am booked through Christmas. So if you would like your student to shadow, um, please email me or you can give me a call in the office and we will get you scheduled and get, get you on the calendar. And that is typically a full day event. You can shadow Olivia, you could shadow Jack, or I have 113 other student ambassadors that are a part of the program that um, are wonderful and they are great at, at making every student feel comfortable because we know that that's kind of, you know, a new nerve wracking experience, especially if your student's not in school right now physically, you know, so we understand it's a new environment. So um, you can request anybody, or if you don't know anyone that attends ACC, I can, pick, I can pick for you, and I will make sure that your student is shadowing an ambassador that has similar interests, so that way you guys have things in common to talk about. And then lastly, registration happens at the end of January. You will get more information about that, so you don't really need to worry about that at this moment, but I do want to go back and talk about the technology piece that I skipped over, not on purpose, it just kind of flowed better talking about the placement exam. Um, but each student does receive a laptop when they come to ACC as freshmen. So right now students are receiving the Acer Travel Mate Spin. That is a $420 fee one time. And once your family pays that, it is your students to keep forever. They don't have to turn it in, in during the summer. They don't have to turn it in when they graduate. You may do with it what you please. It is your own laptop as soon as it's all paid for. It does come fully loaded um, with every single software and program that your student will need to do homework assignments and projects and tests here at school. So that's a really great feature. Um, so I did wanna let you guys know about that. Okay. And then lastly, just I just before we get to the student perspective and Olivia and Jack get to talk, um, I just wanted to let you know that our goal at ACC is to make sure that your students are receiving you know, a, a lifelong learning goal, as well as an opportunity to grow in their spiritual faith. Um, I guess I forgot to mention that your student will take theology every single year, um, but only for one semester. So that's kind of really, really nice that, you know, your student, it, it, the teachers are great at making sure that if you are not Catholic, that those students don't feel like they're behind because they have, they don't know anything about the Catholic faith because we do accept everybody at ACC. So they're very used to the curriculum being made to challenge those who have been in a Catholic education their whole life, but also to accommodate those who haven't. And so that's something that's really great. Um, and we give that opportunity to students to grow in their faith if that's something that they're interested in doing. And then obviously, you know, preparing them for the future and whatever it is that they want to do. So with that being said, I want to turn it over to Olivia and Jack. And if you guys have questions for them, please feel free to either type it in the Q&A tab or in the chat tab, whatever you guys feel more comfortable with. Um, but 
while you're thinking of your questions, they are going to share with you, and it doesn't matter who goes first, you guys can decide, um, their favorite part about ACC, why they chose ACC, and any advice that they would give to sixth, seventh, or eighth grade students going into high school. Okay, so you guys are up. Jack, you can take it away. <laughs> Not seeing any yet, so. Okay, so Jack, why don't you tell, yeah, I don't see any either. I'll let you know if there's questions. So why don't you tell everybody what your favorite part about ACC is? Ooh, dang. Um, probably, uh, okay, probably the 90 minute classes because having eight different subjects of homework was hard to remember. Um, it's really easy, especially when you can get it all done during school. Awesome. Yes. I would say every single student, when I ask them, what's your favorite part about ECC, they say the block scheduling. <laughs> so that's right on, right on cue with what everybody um, usually says. Cool. How, um, many? how many students are currently enrolled at ECC? Do you guys want me to answer? Isn't it like Go ahead. Yep. Uh, about 500 around? Correct. About 500. Good yeah. question. Okay, and then Jack, do you want to tell, do you remember why you chose ACC? Oh, shoot. Um, well, I didn't really want to go to West because I did want to take a theology class and I knew that they were just a public school and mm -hmm. um, Marmine was all boys. I didn't really want to go to all, mm -hmm. an all boys school. So ACC seemed like the right fit. Perfect. Do you have any advice for sixth, seventh, or eighth grade students coming into high school? Um, if you aren't Catholic like me, I was, I'm not Catholic, but, and you still want to go here, it's, it's fine. You get used to it. Most people don't even know that I'm not Catholic, so you fit right in. Good. And were you worried about that a little bit? I was. I didn't know pretty much anyone, but I was able to make friends within the orientation day. Awesome. Okay, Olivia, how about you? Thank you, Jack, for sharing. What was your, let's start with your favorite part about ACC. My favorite part is de definitely the environment, I guess I would have to say. Just the teachers are some of the most understanding human beings I've probably ever met. Um, a perk that I've always took advantage of is because um, we don't have like a, like a bus almost, like we don't really have a busing system, so students can get to school and I've been there as early as like 645 and um, teachers are there to help you whenever you need help. <clears throat> um, like I said, I've been there at 645 and there has been my chemistry teacher there ready to help me make up a lab from the day before or there's just that's a, probably my favorite thing is just how much help you're willing to get and same thing with the students like the environment there people really appreciate coming to the school. Um, I think there's genuinely an understanding of the sacrifices they're making. And I think students make the best of that every single day. Mm -hmm. And that's probably my favorite thing. Just really, just the environment overall. Everyone's so happy to be there. Good, awesome. And I do want to mention really quick, and Olivia, this is not your fault. You probably just don't know this. Um, we do offer one bus route and that goes out to the Sycamore DeKalb and Elburn Maple Park area. So if you are from that area, you can take advantage of that. Um, and there our route and um, times are always updated on our website. So I did just wanna jump in really quick, just in case we have anybody watching from there, um, that that is an option, but that is our only route. So, okay, thank you so much for sharing that. Do you remember why you chose ACC? Um, coming from a really big public school, it was too big. <laughs> um, I kind of felt swallowed almost in such a big school. Like, um, even when I was involved in things, I felt like people didn't really, like, even know I was there sometimes. Um, I never really felt engaged in anything I was doing. Um, I felt like it was always just the same kids over and over again. Mm -hmm. And coming to see, like, even, I've never been a drama student before, and it's probably my favorite part of coming to school. Um, awesome. Just, yeah, just, I really feel like they acknowledge every student there. They work with every student there. Like you found your place. Oh, she froze. 
Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much for sharing that. We do have a question. Um, and that question is, what is the average number of students in a classroom? And the average number of students is 19. So we really, really try our best to keep it at that. Um, statistically, that's what we found where our students are most successful. So um, thank you so much for you said. Um, Okay. We lost, I, I lost connection. That was weird. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. Um, okay, Olivia, what were you saying so I can get caught up? Um, we answered the average size right now with COVID. We said it's right around like 13 to 15. Um, yeah. And then without like previous years, it's been between like 20 and 25. Yeah. Perfect. Good job, you guys. Thank you. I'm sorry. I don't know why. It's okay. Do we have that one's done? Awesome. All right. Well, do you guys have anything else you would like to add? Because we are right on schedule here and we don't have any more questions. There, oh, wait, there is one more question. It says if you take the placement exam at another school, can the test scores go to ACC for placement if that is our final choice for high school? Do you want me to answer that? Yeah, yes. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So the way it works is. Um, Basically, yes. If you decide to take the placement exam elsewhere, but you decide ACC is the better fit, we can accept the, the scores as long as it is the HSPT test. So you'll just need to ask that other school um, if that is the case. And then one, if you choose to take the test with us, once we give you your scores, whatever you do with your scores is up to you. Um, but the only way you can qualify for a scholarship at ACC is by taking the test with us on that December 5th placement date. So I do know that a lot of other schools in the area have the exact same placement test date. However, we are um, mandated by the Diocese of Rockford to host our placement test on the date given. Um, I know the Diocese, the um, Chicago Diocese does that as well. So I'm not sure about any other diocesan schools, high schools that do that. Um, I know a couple other schools in our area are not associated with the diocese, so that is their own personal preference of when to host that, that test. So that's how that works. Hopefully that, oh yes, I can repeat the um, name. It is called the HSPT, the High School Placement Test <laughs> um, Exam. And it, if you forget those that acronym, it's on our website too, so you can always check back below. Good question though. All right, well, if you guys do think of any other questions that either you think of throughout the night or later on down the road, I am more than happy to help. That's what I'm here for and that's what I love to do. So please feel free to email or call me. Like I mentioned a little bit ago, you will get a follow-up email from me just thanking you for your time. And it also will give you a link to do a virtual tour of ACC. You can literally click through every hallway and go into the gym and the cafeteria and whatnot and see the halls if you've never been there before um, in a safe way. And then it'll give you a link to our recruitment video, which highlights ACC in a very wonderful way. And then also the link for the placement test. So you can just sign up before the craziness of Thanksgiving and the holidays start to pick up. So thank you guys so much. Thank you, Olivia. Thank you, Jack. I appreciate it. You guys get service hours for this. So I will be at school tomorrow. So make sure you stop down and have me sign your service hour sheets. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you guys so much. Thank you all for watching and have a great night. Bye.